hearing an audio recording of what's believed to be a sonic weapon used on American embassy workers in Cuba. Have you ever heard about the mysterious sonic attack on U.S. diplomats in Cuba? Back in 2016, several embassy staff in Havana reported hearing high-pitched, strange sounds in their homes, with no visible source. Soon after, they began experiencing symptoms like intense headaches, dizziness, ear ringing, sleep issues, and even memory and concentration problems. The U.S. government launched an official investigation, and some theories suggested they were victims of a secret sonic weapon. But hold on, can sound really be a weapon? Can it actually harm or even kill a human being? Sound is simply waves of pressure traveling through the air. But when you control its frequency and intensity, it can become a tool for torture or a silent weapon. There are two types of sound waves considered dangerous. Infrasound, which is below 20 hertz, too low for the human ear to hear, but it can pass through the body, causing nausea, anxiety, disorientation, and even effects on the heart and brain. Ultrasound, above 20,000 hertz, commonly used in medicine, but at high intensities, it can damage tissues and organs. Some militaries around the world have developed acoustic weapons, such as the LRAD, Long Range Acoustic Device. This device emits extremely focused, high decibel sound waves, often used to disperse crowds or keep people or small boats away from restricted areas. LRAD has been used in real world scenarios to control protests at the G20 summit in Pittsburgh, 2009, during demonstrations in New York and Los Angeles, for anti-piracy operations near the Somali coast, mounted on ships and aircraft for defense purposes. These devices don't leave visible injuries, but they cause excruciating pain, disorientation, and in some cases, temporary hearing loss or unconsciousness. Prolonged exposure to intense sound waves can even lead to internal bleeding or neurological breakdowns, especially if targeted at specific parts of the body. Sound may be invisible and intangible, but it can silently destroy from the inside. So, are we entering an age of silent warfare? A future where battles are fought not with bullets, but with waves we can't even hear? Let me know your thoughts and share this video to spread awareness about this hidden danger.